In today's episode of The Insect Hunter, I'm going to be getting into here in this cage where I've got a live tarantula hawk. I'm gonna see if I can handle it with my bare hands. Let's find out what happens. So tarantula hawk wasps are normally found in areas of North America, normally about the southern part of North America. They can be found in states like Arizona, New Mexico, um, that type of thing is typically where they're found in deserts where there's more tarantula species. This one was found in southern Idaho, um, so they can make it all the way up here, but they're not that common in this area for sure. So as for the adults, they feed by extracting nectar from plants. They can get it from flowers. This one here was found in an area where there's a lot of trees with sap and stuff, so they've been gathering at the tree to get a lot of sap to feed on, so that's what they've been feeding on a lot. So the adults, they don't actually feed on any other insects or things like that, they just feed on nectar strictly, but they will go out and they will hunt for tarantulas. So once they find a tarantula and they've paralyzed it, they'll lay an egg on the tarantula, which will hatch and then start feeding on the tarantula, which is alive while all of this feeding is happening. As for this guy, as you can see, I've been keeping him alive with apples. Um, he's gonna need some more apples here soon. So I'm gonna give him an apple today and I'm gonna see if he will stand on my hand while I give him the apple. Oh shoot. Getting close to getting out there. Oh my gosh, he almost got out. I was freaking out. I'm trying to operate the camera and keep this guy under control at the same time and he literally almost climbed out right there. And he's probably going to try and climb out right now. So I need to just zip this up so I'm ready to go in with the apple because I'm going to get myself in trouble. So I do not believe that this species is highly aggressive so my belief is that if I stick my hand in there with an apple or something and I'm very calm and I do not move that it is not going to want to sting me because its venom is very precious. You know, as long as I'm not threatening it in any way, I feel like it will be fine. But I need to show you guys, when this thing gets threatened, it will start to make a certain sound. When he feels threatened, he's going to do a very specific thing. He's going to start beating his wings very quickly. And then he's also going to make a loud noise. And that is him saying, hey, I am here you need to be aware of me because that's kind of their warning. So if you're ever out in the wild or somewhere and you see one of these or you hear this type of noise, it's almost like a rattlesnake, you know, this is the noise. You hear this, you better be looking around, you know. Most people probably aren't that stupid that they wouldn't look if they heard this sound just because it's very intimidating and very scary. It makes me not really want to interact with this thing. So I've got my microphone up right next to him. I'm going to blow and we'll see if he reacts because he can tell, um, I swear he can tell when I'm breathing on him, so watch this. Okay, I'm getting really nervous. What I'm about to do, do not try this at home. It's not something to be super scared of, but it is something to be respected, so we're going to take a look at it and uh, see how she does. All right, so first thing is first, I'm gonna get my GoPro camera into this container, so let's see how well that goes. So I'm gonna unzip this thing right now, and we're gonna get the camera into there and try and get that into place, I'm trying to find just the right angle. Okay, so right now he's up in here in this corner right there, so I'm gonna be watching him as I get this camera in there. Got it open now. Look at him, such a beautiful specimen. Very large insect. Um, trying to get this camera over here. Let's see if we can get it focused on kind of an area in here. Okay, we need to readjust. Trying to get this thing to be level for me. Okay, so we've got the camera in there. The first thing I want to do is I want to measure him and see how long he is. So let's see if we can get a shot of that. See if we can just get him to walk 
on the ruler itself and then we could kind of measure him. I think that might be the best way. Okay, here we go. He's on the ruler right now. He is about two inches long. Wow, what a beautiful specimen. Okay, there's the ruler. All right, everybody, I'm gonna give this guy an apple and we're gonna try and get it onto the GoPro so you can see everything happening. But um, I'm gonna get my hand in there, so I'm getting a little nervous right now, but I don't think this thing is gonna be super aggressive as long as I'm very calm. But in just in case, I've got multiple cameras running and I'll leave this one running so you can see in case I get stung, the type of pain and my reaction to this thing stinging me. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and stick in the apple now. We'll get this, try to get this on the area where the GoPro is at. You can see me just wedging my hand in there slightly. I wanna stick this out so that he knows that it's there and available. And I know that he likes apples because this is what he's been feeding on in here up to this point. Here he is, he's getting a little bit from the apple there. I don't know how well you can see that on the GoPro. Looks like he's now climbing onto the apple itself. So here we go, he is literally, he's literally within just inches from my fingers right now at this point. Oh my gosh, he is on my hand. Just walking around, investigating. There's really no turning back now because right now, if I start freaking out, then he'll freak out. So I'm just hoping he will go back to the apple. So he is on my hand right now. He's just cleaning himself. Goodness, this is so scary. My hand is shaking so much. Just totally holding still. I've just gotta wait here and hope that he moves away. kind of cleaning himself at this point. I'm gonna try and get the apple and try and get him to go onto the apple again because you know he really liked the apple and the taste. Yes, you like the apple. Go to the apple. Oh man, my hand is shaking so much right now. Okay. Wow, that was so scary. I am like shaking right now like crazy. Just having that thing sitting on you is so nerve wracking. And you know, I know this thing is not trying to go out and hurt me or cause me pain, but just my body is thinking, you know, as I'm holding that, man, this thing is super painful. Why in the heck are you doing this? But, you know, most insects in reality, they don't want to go out and hurt us. They want to just live their lives and go on their way and enjoy their lives. And most insects won't hurt us. This is not to say that you should go out and try this yourselves, 
I have been doing this for years and uh, I still felt very nervous. It's very nerve wracking for me. But for the most part, you know, it's kind of cool and awesome to just feel and hold that power in your hands for just a second to think about all the cool, awesome things that Mother Nature has placed here for us to enjoy. My plans with this guy is that I am planning on keeping him alive as long as I can, and then I plan to mount him and put him into a display just like I did with my wolf spider episode. So make sure and stay tuned for that. I'll probably do another video of how I made the display so you guys can see how I made it so you can make something similar for yourselves. Thanks for watching this episode. We both want to thank you for watching it. Let me know what you guys think about the tarantula hawk. Do you think it's a misunderstood creature? Do you think it's beautiful? Do you think it's interesting? Or do you just think it's downright scary? I want to know what you guys think. Please like the video and subscribe here to The Insect Hunter to stay tuned where big adventures start small. Thank you.